So this is going to be the second uh, part of this, the Bones Lab, the Lab 1, and the second installment is going to deal just with the scapula. We're going to kind of focus on that. Uh, as I mentioned in the first video there, um, this one is confusing for some people. Uh, it doesn't need to be. So if you get a couple of landmarks figured out, you can tell left from right. Let's do that first. So if we look at this scapula, we can see that there's kind of this long pointy part. That's the inferior angle. So the inferior angle must be inferior. Then we have this little pointy part up here. This is the superior angle. So that must be superior. So if this were on a person, their head would be up here above the superior angle and their uh, body and pelvis would be inferior to this. Here's the spine of the scapula. The spine of the scapula is gonna be on the posterior side. We'll turn it over. We see there's no spine on this side. So this is the anterior side or the deep side of the scapula. And this is the superficial side or the posterior side of the scapula. So if this is inferior and this is superior and this is posterior, we got one more landmark that will help us and that's this, this depression right here, the glenoid cavity, that's where the head of the humerus goes. So if the arm is here and this is the posterior side of this person's body that we're looking at, then this has to be a left. Otherwise, their arm would be in the middle of their back, and that wouldn't work out so well. Okay, we've got a few other landmarks here. I'm going to mention um, the importance of some of these landmarks because uh, when I first taught the course, I thought, gee, you know, we're learning all these things, what for? Um, we'll have relevance for them. That will help. This is the vertebral border or the medial border of the scapula. It's going to be toward the vertebrae. This is the infraspinous fossa. And the infraspinous fossa, big flat surface. Flat surfaces are usually either for protection or muscle attachment. This is for muscle attachment. For the infraspinatus, attaches the infraspinous fossa. Then this is the supraspinous fossa, and that's where the supraspinatus attaches. Then we have the acromion process of the scapula. It projects from the spine, and the acromion process articulates with a clavicle. Then we have the coracoid process. The coracoid process is supposed to look like a crow's beak. I think it looks more like Woodstock, Snoopy's friend. And the coracoid process is a projection that three muscles attach to. Um, we'll talk about those eventually. Okay. We have the uh, glenoid cavity where the head of the humerus goes. There's a little bump right up here where my fingernail is. That's a supraglenoid tubercle. That's above the glenoid cavity. One head of the biceps brachii attaches there. And we see a bump right here, where my finger is down here. That's the infraglenoid uh, tubercle, and that's where one head of the triceps brachii attaches. We have the deep side, the subscapular fossa, and that's where the subscapularis muscle attaches. Those three flat spots are where three of the four um, rotator cuff muscles attach. Subscapularis, infraspinatus, supraspinatus. Okay. Inferior angle, superior angle, and then we have the suprascapular notch right where my finger is there, and that notch is where the suprascapular nerve and suprascapular artery and suprascapular vein go through. So there is the left scapula, this is a right scapula, and we can tell it's right because the arm would be here, posterior side, inferior, has to be the right. There's the scapula. See how it goes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to take a look at how the clavicle would articulate with the scapula. Now, this is a left scapula because of the head of the humerus, spine, inferior angle. This is the left uh, clavicle, and the left clavicle comes in and articulates with the acromion process of the scapula like that. Okay. And it braces the scapula actually, so your shoulder can't come toward the middle of your body because the clavicle won't let it. 